एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम हाई आई एम डॉक्टर नीलम फ्रॉम डेली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी वी आर कवरिंग सोल्यूशन टेक्निक फॉर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन today's lecture we will cover bernoulli differential equation and clairaut's differential equation so for more details you can refer to the book from ishan publishing details of which is given in this side and link is given in the description box so in the first part of the video we will start with the bernoulli differential equation Bernoulli differential equation. So uh, this is after the math name of the mathematician Bernoulli, and uh, the differential equation takes the form y dash plus p one p x plus uh, p x y is equals to y raised to the power n. so if if any differential equation is given in this form this is called as bernoulli differential equation so how to solve a bernoulli differential equation for the solution we will divide this differential equation with y raised to the power n so this will be step number 1 so after dividing it y raised to the power minus n y dash plus p x y raised to the power 1 minus n and this side it becomes 1 and then we will make a substitution for this differential equation so step 2 that we will make the substitution that v is equals to y raised to the power 1 minus n right we will differentiate this uh, v and so v dash will become 1 minus n y raised to the power minus n and since it is a function of x therefore this needs to be differentiated with respect to x so one more term will be there and on substituting this expression for v dash and v in this form let me call this as 1 this is 2 so on substituting the expression for v and v dash in 2 this gets converted into a differential equation of first order which can be solved easily by the techniques by any of the techniques that is integrating factor separable variable form by any techniques which we know for solution of first order differential equation so after this 2 becomes so we can we can easily see that y raised to the power minus n and y dash so from here we get y dash over 1 minus n because this needs to come to this side plus px v is equals to 1 so if we multiply it with v uh, 1 minus n so it becomes 1 minus n px v and this equals to 1 minus n since n is going to be a constant therefore this will be a constant and this will also be a constant so we can see that it has been converted into a differential equation of first order which can be solved by using uh, as i said by using any techniques integrating factor or separable variable form whichever is applicable so we will take one question for this so we'll take one example so let us say y dash plus 4 by x y is equals to x cube by square we need to find out whether it is a bernoulli equation or not so we can see that it involves y square therefore it is a bernoulli equation right so this is a first order non linear differential equation which is in bernoulli form and that is why we will apply the solution technique which is given for bernoulli form so if we compare it with the uh, standard form of bernoulli differential equation so here y n is y square right so let me call this as equation number 1 so divide the equation number 1 
divide equation 1 by y square. So it becomes y raised to the power minus 2 y dash plus 4 by x y raised to the power minus 1 and this equals to x cube. So this is the step number 1 that we need to divide the whole uh, the uh, both side of the differential equation by y raised to the power n. So now next step is to make the substitution. So let us make the substitution let v is equals to y raised to the power minus 1 because y raised to the power 1 minus n to be substituted as y v. So if we get this v dash for this so it becomes minus v raised to the y raised to the power minus 2 and y dash right. So if we uh, if we uh, substitute this v and v dash in equation number 2 let me call this as 3. So on substituting v and v dash in 2 this 2 becomes minus of v dash plus 4 by x of v is equals to x cube or if we write this as minus 4 by x v is equals to minus x cube. So we can see that it has become a first order linear differential equation which can be solved by integrating factor. So we will solve it by integrating factor technique. So for this integrating factor can be found out as e raised to the power minus 4 by x dx. So it becomes e raised to the power minus 4 natural log x and we need to write down the solution as so, so let me call this as 4. So solution of 4 can be written as can be written as v into integrating factor. So v into e raised to the power minus 4 ln x is equals to e integration e raised to the power minus 4 ln x and minus x cube dx and plus there will be a constant of integration. So uh, we can simplify this thing and it becomes v is equals to e raised to the power 4 ln x if this will go to this side and integration minus 4 ln x minus x cube dx plus c. So this, this can be easily simplified. So we can, uh, uh, we are not bothered about this expression because this is easily solvable. Now, my uh, the, the solution of the given differential equation should have been written in terms of the dependent variable and dependent variable was y there. But we have written the solution here in terms of v therefore we must uh, uh, convert this solution in terms of y. So the relation between v and y was v was considered as v was has been substituted as y raised to the power minus 1. Therefore, the solution can be written as y raised to the power minus 1 is equals to e raised to the power 4 ln x e raised to the power minus 4 ln x minus x cube dx plus c. So that's how the solution of the given differential equation which is in Bernoulli form will be written. So this becomes the solution of the given differential equation which was in Bernoulli form. Now I am leaving this expression in this form because this is easily solvable. So I am leaving this expression for you and you can solve it and we, you can let us know the answer in the comment. So that's how the solution of a Bernoulli equation can be written. So in this part of the video, we have learned that when a differential equation is called in the Bernoulli form of differential equation, we have learned how to solve a Bernoulli differential equation. So in the second part, we will learn about the Claret's form of differential equation, which will be of first order, but not of first degree. For details, you can go through the book from S. Chan Publishing, details of which is given here. Link is given in the description box. Please like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for uh, whenever for notification as and when new video will be uploaded thank you very much all rights reserved 
This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.